Now, ringworm is a common fungal infection of the skin uh, and uh, is due to a worm. <coughs> uh, in medical term, it is called tenia and uh, is further divided into the uh, many uh, and different uh, names according to the location of the uh, infection. In fact, you know. Uh, some types of the uh, ringworm infection include tinea, corpus, tinea, capitals, tinea, pedis, I mean, uh, athlete's foot or the tinea, uh, crurus, there's a, a joke, you know. So the ringworm causes a scaly crusted rash that may appear as round red patches on the skin. So other symptoms and signs of the ringworm include patches of hair loss, uh, scaling on the scalp, itching and blister like lesions. Ringworm is a contagious and it can be passed from one person to other person. Uh, it can be successfully treated with antifungal medications uh, either used uh, topically or orally you know so it can it, uh, these are treatable you know. So as I said earlier it is contagious. So ringworm occurs in people of all ages but it's particularly common in children. So it occurs most often in warm, moist climates. You know. And the ringworm is contagious and can be passed from one person to another person by contact with infected skin areas or sharing combs, brushes or the personal belongings. You know. So it is also possible uh, to become infected uh, with ringworm after coming in contact with locker room or pool surfaces you know so infection can also affect dogs cats and the pets you know and they may transmit infection to the humans so it is common to have several areas of ringworm at once in uh, different body areas you know uh, as the name looks scary as the ringworm so uh, most of the people ask do they have the worms you know no basically it's a uh, fungal infection you know and its medical name is tunia, which is a Latin word and uh, it means that growing the worms, you know. Uh, so basically it's a fungal infection and uh, it can affect multiple areas in, of the body and uh, then uh, and these are named uh, uh, according to the area um, which has been affected, you know, so like uh, uh, scalp or any, any part of the body, you know, uh, like the hairs or, uh, you know, scalp or the... Uh, uh, corporis or the uh, you know the tinea pedis you know so there are so many types of it the world is full of yeats molds and fungi and only there are few who can cause the same skin problems you know so these agents are called the uh, 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 dermatophytes you know uh, so which means they call skin fungi so an infection uh, with these fungi is medically known as uh, dermatophytosis, uh, you know. So, uh, skin fungi can only live on the dead layer of the skin, you know. So, they rarely uh, invade deeper into the body and cannot live on mucous membranes such as those in the mouth and the uh, vagina, you know. Now, as I told, uh, some fungi live only on human skin, hair, or nails, and others live on animals uh, and only uh, sometimes are found on human skin, you know. So, still others live in the soil so uh, it is often difficult or impossible to identify the source of particular person's uh, skin fungus the fungi may spread from person to person from animal to person or from soil to the person the heat and the moisture help fungi grow and thrive so which makes them more commonly found uh, in skin uh, folds uh, such as uh, those in the groins between the toes you know uh, and this also uh, accounts uh, uh, for their uh, reputation as being caught uh, from showers, uh, locker room, and swimming pools, you know. So, as described previously, you know, so it is possible uh, to acquire ringworm from a variety of places and circumstances, you know. So, the greatest risk for factor is uh, coming in contact with an affected individual, you know. So, warm moist and areas, are, warm moist areas are the most favorable conditions for the growth of fungi. Uh, so areas such as uh, uh, communal showers and locker rooms uh, are the areas in which uh, transmission is favorable. Uh, however, any contact with an infected person or a contaminated surface can cause ring firm infection. Next is what are the symptoms of the uh, ringworm fungal infection? Uh, uh, there are different types of the ringworm uh, and uh, 
and the one is the uh, tinea barbarae. So this is the ringworm of the um, bearded area of the face, neck, and uh, with swelling and marked crusting uh, is often accompanied by the itching. So sometimes uh, causing the hair to break off. Uh, so in the days uh, when the men went to the uh, barber daily for a shave, the tinea barber was called uh, barber zicino. Now the uh, tinea capitis is the other one, and uh, this is uh, this is the uh, infection of the on the scalp, you know. Uh, and the mostly in late childhood or uh, um, uh, adolescence, you know. So this uh, this condition may spread in schools. So tinea capitis appears as uh, scalps scaling, and uh, that is associated with the uh, bald spots, uh, uh, which is uh, sometimes it has a dandruff and uh, uh, it doesn't cause the hair loss. Now I said that there are different, as I said earlier, there are different types of the uh, ring ringworm infection, you know, so the one of them is uh, tinea uh, corporis. Uh, when the fungus affects the skin of the body, uh, it often produces uh, the round spots of classical ringworm. So sometimes these parts have an active outer border uh, as uh, they slowly grow and advance. So sometimes, sometimes the scaling, crusting, and raised areas or even blister-like lesions can appear, so particularly in the active border. So it's important to distinguish uh, this rash uh, uh, from other uh, even more common rashes, you know, uh, such as uh, 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 pneumolar eczema, you know. So this condition and the others may appear similar to the ringworm, but uh, they are not uh, due to fungal infection and require different treatment, you know. Uh, now the next is tinea uh, 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 cruris, you know. So it's a uh, in fact it, it, this is it, this uh, infection uh, affects mostly on the groins area, you know. Uh, it's a reddish brown color and uh, the patch is reddish brown color and extends from folds uh, of the grind down uh, onto one or both thighs, you know. So other conditions uh, that can um, uh, mimic the tinea uh, cruris uh, include yeast infections, uh, psoriasis and uh, uh, intertrigo. Uh, uh, so you need to be carefully diagnosed, you know. So so it's not uh, misdiagnosed. And there are other types of the ringworm infection as well um, uh, that affect the face and you know uh, it's called a tinea facie uh, and the other one is the tinea manus you know the ringworm involves the hands particularly in the palms and the spaces between the fingers you know uh, so it typically causes a thickening and uh, of these areas uh, often on only one hand. So tinea uh, uh, menace is common uh, companion of the tinea pedis, so ringworm of the feet. So it's also called tinea uh, manum. Now, uh, next is uh, how to diagnose the uh, ringworm infection. You know, uh, so often the diagnosis of the ringworm is obvious uh, from its location and appearance. So otherwise, skin scrapings for the microscopic examination and uh, a culture of the affected skin can establish the diagnosis of ringworm. So if the diagnosis uh, is unclear, a potassium hydroxide uh, preparation of a skin scraping can be reviewed under the microscope to confirm the diagnosis of a fungus. So if a fungus infection is present and the skin problem is uh, misdiagnosed, so inappropriate treatment might be prescribed uh, uh, that uh, could actually worsen the uh, infection, you know. So it's very important to um, uh, uh, the right diagnosis of the uh, ringworm. Uh, well, uh, uh, this can be diagnosed by uh, your GP, you know, so you don't need to go to any spe skin specialist or anything, so this is a very common um, infection, you know. And uh, your primary care healthcare professional will uh, be able to uh, diagnose it. Uh, and the next thing is, uh, what are the uh, treatments? You know, uh, now the treatment. Uh, uh, there are home remedies cannot uh, uh, cure the ringworms. You know, so to cure ringworm, it is necessary to take antifungal medications. Ringworm can be treated uh, topically uh, or by the uh, oral medications. 
Now, when the fungus affects the skin um, of the body or the groin, you know, uh, so many antifungal creams can uh, clear the condition uh, in around two weeks. So examples of such uh, preparations include those of contain um, uh, uh, clotrimazole, you know, so uh, like uh, Curex cream or Dozinex cream, you know, uh, or Meconazole, uh, which is a monistate mon cream, yeah. Uh, and uh, Econazole, uh, which comes as uh, an Eftrin cream. So these are the topical preparations that can be applied uh, to treat the um, uh, um, uh, fungal infection, you know. Uh, and the other thing is um, uh, um, to treat with the systematic treatment and uh, some of the fungal infections do not respond uh, well to the external applications. So, so examples uh, include the uh, scalp uh, uh, fungus and fungus of the nails, you know. So, so to penetrate these areas and the particularly severe or extensive disease, you know, so oral medications can be used. So for a long time, the only effective anti antifungal tablet was uh, uh, that uh, comes with the uh, fulvicine. You know, but now other agents are, are also available and uh, they are both safer and more effective, you know. So these include um, uh, Sporonox or uh, Deflucene. Uh, and the oral medications are usually given for three months, of course. So, so there are certain side effects of it. So you should consult your GP uh, or your primary healthcare professional to discuss uh, the right medication for you and uh, uh, don't forget to discuss side effects, you know. Now, minimizing the sweat and moisture can help prevent fungal infections. So, the common recommendations along these lines are for men to wear uh, boxer shorts, you know, and for women to avoid uh, pantyhose and uh, so forth, you know. So, whether these major, uh, major uh, measures, uh, uh, some of which are quite difficult to implement, or really worth of. Uh, uh, the effort uh, is open uh, to question, you know. So you can also take steps to prevent uh, spread of ringworm infection. So do not share clothing, uh, towels, hair brushes, uh, hair accessories, uh, sports gear, and other personal items, you know. So wearing sandals and shoes in gym, uh, locker rooms, uh, and uh, at pools can help reduce your chances of uh, contacting at least for so you should avoid uh, touching pets uh, that have uh, signs of ringworm infection you know and wash your hands after touching your pets uh, and you also need to dis disinfect the surfaces of the bedding uh, by using the solutions of diluted chlorine bleach or other detergents you know uh, and if your pet has uh, the signs of um, uh, fungal infection so you should consult your uh, pet doctor you know you know, the ringworm can be cured uh, with the proper treat appropriate treatment, you know, so ringworm of the skin typically resolves after two to three weeks of treatment, uh, uh, while cases of ringworm uh, of the scalp or nails may require treatment uh, for a few months. So complications are rare and uh, can include a secondary bacterial infection of the skin uh, or a widespread fungal infection, you know, so which uh, is extremely rare and more likely to occur in uh, individuals with uh, a suppressed immune system, you know.